Hello, this is Second Soundwave, and today I'm coming at you with yet another Gundam review. This is the Master Grade 1 100th scale Red Frame Astray Kai from Gundam Seed Astray. I believe Astray Versus. Um, I'm not sure if that was what that was. I, th I think I've heard that name associated with this though before, so could be a game. I'm not really sure. Anyway, here's the box. It's a massive box. It's about twice as tall as the standard Gunpla box, which doesn't sound like much, but it actually is when you see it in person. It's a little thicker, uh, about as wide, as you can see. Some great art. Um, up in this corner you can see the... Uh, let me just zoom in a bit. Up in this corner you can see the blue frame, which is the mold this is based off. You can see that's got the tactical arms as well. Um, and then up in that corner up there. I'm not really sure what that Gundam is. Um, the backpack kind of reminds me of the... Um, Gold Frame Astray Amatsumina, but it has the Blitz Gundam's um, cloth thing, and that's definitely the Blitz's head, so... I don't know, that might be some other Gundam from the manga. I'm not really familiar with the manga, I've never read it, but... That is a funky looking Gundam. And there's a couple of them on the box, so... I mean, there's another one like... Uh, there. And, and that is the same Gundam, so... Not really sure what that's about, but... You know what, it's just a box, it's got all the usual stuff on the side including a bluefin sticker on mine, because I got this from Amazon, so it's not the Japanese release. Anyway, let's pull them in close and look at some details in the sky. It's pretty detailed, um, actually extremely detailed, um, even for a master grade, just because of how much just tech stuff there is all over the sky with the exposed frame all over the place. And by the way, you can display the sky with just the red stuff. If you built this without all the white armor, you just have like a solid red sort of unarmored figure and it would actually look really good. Um, thought about doing a review like that, but I was building this guy and I just had so much fun building him that I just threw them all together at once. And it did take a while to build him. I built him over like three, four days, I think. Sort of in like half hour, hour-ish hour ses sessions, I don't know. But definitely took longer than the standard high grade and even longer than the real grade that I built. So yeah. Now there is one problem with this guy and that's the crest. Whenever you touch the head it flops down. But it is a great compliment to his head sculpt. Um, it's just so detailed. It's got those black parts that the high grade didn't have. There's a trans green gem in the head and the back, as opposed to the stickers that all high grades have. The eyes are still stickers, but it is a trans green piece, so if you wanted to paint the black in around it, you could. I just didn't have a black marker on me, so I didn't. Um, red around the face, very well done. The neck looks great. It's got this weird sort of spining along the back. Got a backpack connector here, which actually does lots of stuff. It like bends down, it rotates up, it twists, it telescopes out a bit. So the connector moves for, t and this is for attaching the tactical arms, which is a very big weapon that has like seven or eight modes. And as a result, I'm going to be doing a separate video, so you won't be seeing that in this video. But we will be just showing off the basic figure and just some of the details. You can see the chest looks great, admin looks great, the white pieces on the arms are no longer stickers, they're now um, full plastic parts. There's nice sort of panel lines and separation everywhere. These can kind of come apart, though I'm not sure if they're supposed to. Um, arms look great, it's got finger articulation, I'll get to that later. The um, waist pretty awesome looking, it holds up better than the uh, high grades. Um, the swords now attach on, yes I did say sword, this guy's two as opposed to the high grade which only had one. They now mount on the um, thighs as opposed to the hip armor, so that's nice. It makes them not fall off as much when you move around the legs. Nice segmentation in the leg armor. Little pit holes here. I'm not sure what these are for. Um, the only version of the Astray that I could think of that actually utilizes these is the um, Blue Frame Astray Type D, and that was such a late release after the others that it seems more of an afterthought, and I'm not really sure if they actually sculpted these specifically for that release, or even if that one uses it, because I really don't remember that kit very well, but... Basically, I don't know what those slots are for. If you do, please feel free to mention it in the comments. Yep, the ankle guards are now separate pieces too, as compared to the high grade. So yeah, very detailed, and I keep comparing this to high grade, and you might be curious to see what they actually look like next to each other, because you might, you know, have the high grade, and you're like, well, do I really need a master grade of a kid I have a, as a high grade? The answer is, absolutely. First of all, you'll notice there's a massive size difference between these. This guy barely comes up to his waist. And when you're looking at details on this, it's just no contest. I mean, look at those heads. This guy, sticker, white plastic, little bit of red around the face, some red on the back. 
there's just no there's no comparing them. This one's just incredibly awesome. Shoulder is way more detailed. It's got those top vents. It's got that um, sort of seam there. Chest more detailed, and there are actually red stickers for these little spots that you see there. I just didn't put them on. Um, chest has a lot of uh, excuse me for the getting the uh, giant sword handled away, but I'll get to that later. It's pretty awesome. Um, chest detail is different. This guy also, uh, this one has dry transfer decals for some of the faction symbols. I'm going to show that off in another video, but. Chest very different. He's got the white on the abdomen. The high grade doesn't. Um, there's more depth to some of the skirt armor. The uh, butt skirt armor is a lot longer. Um, the legs have a much more pronounced kneecap. It's a lot sort of more angular. Actually, all the armor in this guy is much more angular on the master grade. More details down there, and like I said, this is moving while this is just a solid part of the leg. So yeah. And of course the hands in this guy are just a little two-piece affair. Well this guy's got full gripping hands with all sorts of possibility. Like as you can see right now, where he's holding on to the um holst onto the I guess it's called a sheath, yeah, sheath, using those one of those two little holes there, because he just has a tab on the inside of the hand, that's how he attaches to all his weapons. And there's a slot on the sword, obviously, so we can hold it, and it's a chrome sword. Now when you pull these out, it's a little scary because you can kind of feel them dip, dragging, and crashing across every little nook and cranny in there, and I think they could have designed the scabbard a bit better so it doesn't damage the chrome. But it's been holding up okay. I mean, obviously there are just the unavoidable stuff like the little black spots, which I will admit are barely noticeable, but they are there from where it was mounted on the sprue disc, because that's unavoidable when you have the whole sprue chromed up beforehand, which is a great effect. I love that. And this is just, I mean, look at it. It's a chrome sprue. It's so cool. Anyway. Great detailing here, much more than the high grades. If you call the high grade sword, just was a gray piece with a gold sticker for the butt, a black sticker for the um, handle, which had some red detailing, which this doesn't have, but everything else is much more sculpting. And then there were two shiny stickers for this. This thing, all mold and right colors. Now you could argue that the gold is a little bland and you should paint it gold. I think it looks fine. The, um, uh, I guess the guard you'd call this, um, has some like sort of oni faces sculpted on it. Hard to see, but they are there. It's got some nice sort of grooving. Looks like a real katana. Um, there's no red on the handle like on the high grade. I think that's a great trade-off though because the butt end is much more um, pointy and jagged and just angry looking. And Oh, and that has an oni face on it too. Kind of hard to see, but it looks kind of like a Kamen or Hibiki or something. Which makes sense because he was supposed to look like an Oni, so, yeah, nothing really wrong with that. And the sword can go in his hand, and these uh, holster things you can mount the sword into, they just clip in there. I'm going to pop off the swords as I show off the articulation just because they do get in the way a bit. Um, not a lot, mind you, but they do get certainly in the way. And you'll also notice that I haven't pushed all the way in because we haven't pushed all the way in when you try to pull it out. First of all, the handle will just pop off instead of the sword. And because it nicks away the chrome at the base here. And even though those lashings there are technically, I think, supposed to be gold, I still don't want to chip it off just because it looks so nice as it is. So I'm going to set those off to the side. And we're going to take a look at the articulation on this guy. And he's got a lot of it. I am going to just pop this off for the rest of the video just so you'll have to deal with the bald astray. But it will free things up a bit and make it so I don't have to be treating him like glasses and posing him. So head goes back about that far because there's a neck joint and then the head joint, and then it goes forward very far. You can look down to his chest. Side to side. Um, shoulders have a sort of swing out poly... Oh, I want to say swing out poly cap, but it's not a poly cap. It's a totally different kind of engineering choice thing, but it does swing out. It swings up. doesn't swing back. Shoulder rotates. Uh, shoulder goes out. And there's a problem with this kit where when you're moving the joints around, it's more likely to just pop the thing off the poly cap, attach to the ABS joint, then move the ABS joint because of how strong the ABS is. Bit of a shame. Um, I think they could have worked around that, maybe. I'm not really sure. And then he does some real grade stuff here where you got some shifting armor. There's the elbow moves, which I think is very cool. I like that a lot. Um, he has the double O Gundam style. If I can, why don't I just pop this off and just... Double O Gundam style tilting wrist there, and the bill-burning style palm 
articulation and he has the finger articulation like I said so he has sort of like I guess you know trigger holding hands and the three fingers here have individual ball joints so if you're really good you can take a little knife and sort of cut them and separate them I don't have that kind of skill so I didn't do it but it's actually a fairly very possible to do so if you have that kind of skill then you can make this guy fully articulated and you can do stuff um, waste has some good articulation but that's not all because you can take it and separate it up sometimes it does help to pull off this and separate it even though it does come up it just makes it a little easier to get this out and it does go a little farther but you don't really have to because now even though there's a big ugly gap in his chest he can bend forward, he can bend back a bit, he can do just all sorts of crazy stuff and it means you have enough space to open up the cockpit and when you open up the cockpit it opens up very fluidly very easily much better than the Destiny and you got a little low gilet in there and if you want to have low gilet displayed separately you get a little 1 100 scale figurine of him it's all white plastic and you can't really tell here but it does have some excellent sculpting um, pretty much every detail is there you do have to paint it um, it's just big enough that, you could, that I considered painting it but I don't have that kind of skill, so I didn't. Um, and this just collapses back down so he doesn't have a big ugly gap in his chest. The um, These pieces can tilt up a bit. They will pop off, but not nearly as readily as the high grade. Um, the back skirt tilts as well. No, like, rotation, just tilting. Um, front skirts move, which is something the high grade didn't. They sort of tilt out. And then the whole assembly can be untabbed and sort of swung up. And that gives you the room to bring his leg pretty much straight up or about that far back, which is pretty decent actually, much better than Master Grade. Uh, the legs have that same thing the arms do where they pop off, so we're not going to bring them up very far, but if you wiggle things around, you can actually get them up past a split. They'll come up to like here. Um, very good, very, very, very good in that sense. Um, the knees. I never get tired of seeing that, it's just so cool. I mean, what, what, like the thigh armor moves? Everything moves, and it's just so cool. I love that. It was so much fun to build, too. These are on ball joints. Um, ankle armor's on a sort of loose, wiggling joint. It has a stem at the top and bottom, so it can do basically anything you want it to do. It has very good tilting. Um, and even the side of this, like, tilts out just a bit to give you that little bit of room you need to um, get his ankle even farther out. And if that's not all, he has a toe joint. So as you can see, this guy is just loaded with um, points of articulation. And he does come with a stand. I'm going to show that off in the other part of the video. But um, he's just got basically everything. There's no point of articulation lacking with this figure. And I just think it's very cool. Um, I'm going to just throw him into a sort of sword pose as I'm talking about him. Pros and cons? Cons? Well, as you can see, the crest definitely needs some work. Um, I think they could have made it a little more sturdy. Um, I'm going to just bring him down so he's kind of actually on a knee. That should help. Um, I think the gold swords, chrome swords, swords are beautiful, but they I wish they designed the scabbards so they don't drag across them as much. Although I've not noticed any uh, problems with, like, um, scratching and stuff on them so far, so it could be that it's just a durable enough chrome that that's not a problem. But, I don't know. Um, the good things? Well, chrome swords. Uh, great articulation, awesome build. And again, I guess another con would be that, as you just saw, Good luck getting him in a pose with the arms the way they are. Um, if I had more time, I could probably get this guy into a good pose, but as is, I'm just going to kind of rest the sword between his hands because I don't have, you know, 15 to 20 minutes to try and get this guy into a acceptable pose, so I'm just going to... I'm just going to do that and call it good. So, yeah. It's got some good points, it's got some bad points, there's more to talk about, actually a lot more to talk about with the tactical arms and the, and the display base, so stick around for that, that's going to be a separate video. 
Anyway, I'm probably going to get my verdict there just because, well, it's not, the figure's not done yet. I still got to do the other parts. So, anyway, this has been Second Soundwave. This is the hot Master Grade. Got to get used to saying that. Haven't said that ever. Um, Master Grade Gundam Astray Red Frame Kai. Next part's coming up soon. See you next time.